Welcome back to a page-by-page -page review of Dune by Frank Herbert. Today, page 30, a significant improvement upon page 29. Uh, for those of you following along, you can see that um, we have more exposition, but it almost disagreeing over what to do with certain members of the clan. Uh, the Baron and Piter continue to go along with their explanation. Fade Routha questions why Count Fenring is named the ambassador to smugglers. And uh, we're introduced to a little more about how the Emperor needs to skirt the Spacing Guild. So the levels of intrigue that are going on are just exponentiating themselves, and it would become very interesting. Um, and then they also talk about their personal plans to betray the Atreides, with which... <sighs> <sighs> I apologize for the yawning. I suddenly got extremely tired. Uh, it's definitely not a Dune by Frank Herbert's fault. Uh, that's just me being tired. Uh, for those of you following along, you know this is a very exciting book. And again, I apologize. Uh, I guess if anybody has any advice on staying up after a long day at work and all that stuff, like let me know. Like caffeine's not good for you, but let me know. Um, and then the page ends with them talking about Doctor Ua being their agent that's going to betray the Atreides family, which is an interesting read. Uh, because we now no longer have the mystery of who is the member betraying the family, but how it's going to unfold. Anyways, decent page, 6.5 out of 10. Uh, would read again, just in the whole entirety of the book, but not solely for its own merit. For those of you studying it, I don't know if you can uh, attach a number to it or a percentage of how much you like it, but feel free to comment that below. And keep reading Dune by Frank Herbert.